Hi everyone, Chastity here. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a little first changing video with this little girl on video and, you know, show her off a little bit more. This is my newest baby. Um, my full body, body silicone. Um, this is the Melly by Alejandra. Day, I can't, I'm not going to pronounce that last name, but, um, yeah, this doll is, like I said, an older doll, probably, um, seven to eight years. That's about what, what I know. I did message Alejandra and, um, try to get some information on what silicone she was poured in and, um, the age of the doll, like when she was painted. She's number two of 20, so she's an earlier edition. She said only one and two were had the attached. One and two were the attached heads, so she, of course, don't have the um, turn, like the joint and neck, which I think the rest do. So, um, that definitely would have been nice to have the, the joint and neck. Um, but so that she can pose better by turning. And I'm wondering if like she was maybe an artist proof. Um, sometimes you, the first one or two are an artist proof. But I would think she would have known that instead of saying she needed to look at her records and was... You know, it's just been so long ago, she just don't remember. But, um, one and two could have been the first dolls produced, and then she, you know, added the joint and neck, maybe just to see how the, the mold was. But she is an Echo Flex 30, meaning she is a harder silicone, so she's not... A super soft silicone um, which from what I understand with the the things when you do um, get into softer silicone the details in the sculpt don't hold as much as as good as like these harder silicones um, and maybe that might be why she's just so detailed and um, really, like, real looking. She's really real looking. Um, so, being an older doll, she has issues. That I've seen, too, that, you know, she does have the tear behind her leg. She does have some peeling over here on her leg and I'm hoping I gotta find out somebody told me to find out what silicone was you or what she was painted with um try to find out what type of paint she used back then to paint and stuff so she's at the doll show right now so when she gets back to me and stuff I will find out um you know, but pilling is not uncommon on a doll this age, you know, um, especially because, you know, we know more about silicone now than, than then. And she does have some on the lips. Um, a friend said, you know, clean off and, and, and repair. I just want to make sure. I don't know what paint was used or anything. And my fear too is, the age of the doll, we just don't know, like, I know of at least three prior owners that had her, so, like, what was used on her, like, you know, some people don't know that latex is bad for silicone, and once the silicone is sealed, you know, you really don't have that problem, but latex inhibits silicone from curing, um, 
so it causes a reaction. So when your paint and silicone, anything latex touches it, forget it. It is not curing. That's it. You're done. I'm going to show you what I'm going to put on her while I'm talking. So I have this H&M little floral print long sleeve onesie I'm going to put on her. I have a pair of socks I'm going to pair it with and then a little head bow. So when you're painting silicone and you got to be careful with what you use because, you know, you don't want to use latex. So after the doll has been painted and cured, you know, you don't know what people that have owned them prior like use for pacifiers. Some pacifiers do have latex in them. Um, so yeah, the dolls cure, so, or finished and painted and sealed, but if the doll needs repairs later on, you know, then that becomes a problem. So I have to do more research that if the dolls cleaned really well and everything like that, if that won't be an issue. Um, because the last thing I want to do is go in and try to do repairs on the doll and run into problems of paint not sticking. So it's mainly about, you know, I asked my friend about should I just seal her again and then mat her and see if that will help the pillin. And she said it should, but... I don't know. There's a reason why that paint there is like, did it not stick there before? Was she just overly handled? Um, it's hard to tell, but you know, a lot of her fingernails are coming off. Um, in which I could just clean her and use some silicone and repaint those. You know, as long as it sticks, it, I could I could fix this. This is not a problem to fix. But you know, I just want to make sure in certain things. I think the lips look kind of natural. You know how babies have um, that dried look on their lips, and she is a newborn looking baby like she's painted in a in a very ready newborn tone but all in all like the price I paid for this doll she really is worth it um so the blade kit alone I'm sure is was probably like around two thousand dollars so She's really pretty, like really pretty. Well worth, I think, what I paid for her. She's a really pretty doll. I think the only thing is, I, I do wish her head turned. Let's see, I'm trying to get these socks on, right? But her rooting is still very beautiful. Um... If some came out, you know, it might be around the back a little bit. It might be a little thinner looking, but honestly, I don't know. It looks really good. Like, her hair looks really good. So pretty. Pretty, pretty hair. Everybody loves her. They said that she's my fav their favorites out of my silicone so far. very pretty so I have a little bow I'm going to put with this outfit I just had this H&M style little onesie on that I had bought these are the newborns one to two month but they are big I should have bought the zero to one for H&M I'd love to know, like, 
this hair for back in that time, like, I don't know what mohair was back then. I've seen some people with, like, older dolls from 2015, 2016, 17, that their, the hair quality wasn't that good. But whatever she used on her is just beautiful hair. Unless she was rooted later. I mean, I guess that could be a possibility. I don't know. I could say she hasn't been in at least the last four to five years. Um, the lady I got her off of had her for two years. And then the one prior had her for a couple years, I believe. So, you know, we're talking some time. <laughs> so... And I have her on this thing, and I put a prop on this pillow because it works pretty good. But, um, I don't know what I was going to say. As you can see, like, she's not, like, floppy floppy, you know. She's wiggly because she is silicone. Like, her, she's soft. She's just not super duper duper soft. You know, the head turning is, I think, oh, well, there goes the ringing, but I have this pacifying clip I'm going to put on her. I'm not giving her the pacifier, um, because of, it's a silicone, this is all silicone, um, her lips pill and I don't want to put a pacifier in her mouth so I'm not gonna do that but anyways there is my new girl oh I didn't announce her name did I okay I didn't give her a name Let's see her in the arms. Let's see if you can see her. Don't mind me. Yeah, I don't have it adjusted very well. You're not gonna see her very well. My arms. I'll put her back down. So I named her Olivia. So this is Miss Olivia Benson. <laughs> I'm an older SUV fan, SBU fan, back in the the days of, of Olivia and Elliot. Um, I haven't got much, much into the newest seasons with everything. I know Elliot is back on his own show, and um, he makes appearances here and there, but, you know... Olivia is just one of my favorite characters, so I like that name, so I decided to call her Olivia. So please welcome Olivia to my nursery. Um, yeah, I did uh, to take her earrings out of her ear. I did put them to the side. I put them in her little folder and stuff because I'm not sure those are original to her so I don't want to lose them but I just not a fan of pierced ears on newborns um I thought about piercing Tatum's ears but um for tiny babies like this I just don't I'm not into that so um yeah so I took them out Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Little Miss Olivia, and I hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.